My name thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Tamilore Akinkulia, and these are the headline stories trending currently. President Muhammad Dubuari have conferred national honors on President-elect Bona Abed Tinubu and his Vice President-elect Kashim Shatim. Shatima. Tinubu was awarded the IS National Award of Grand Commander of the Order of Federal Republic, GCFR, reserved for President, while Shatima was awarded the second IS National Honor of Grand Commissioner of Order of the Niger. GCON. The investiture which took place at the State House Conference Center in Abuja is part of a series of events lined up for the May 29th inauguration ceremony. President Mohamed Obari on Thursday in Abuja has handed the transition document to President-elect Bola Tinobu. Bari also handed the Britain of Service alongside the document at the investiture of the National Honours of Grand Commander of the Federal Republic on Tinobu and the Grand Commander of the Order of Niger and Vice President-elect Kashim Shatima at the State House Banquet Hall Abuja. This is in line with Executive Order 14, which mandates that the Transition Council issues and over notes containing proposed policy directions for the incoming administration. The 2023 presidential inauguration will mark Nigeria's seventh co consecutive democratic transition. The Department of State Service has disclosed that some individuals are planning to disrupt the handover ceremonies in some part of the country. According to the service, these individuals plan to undermine the effort of the security agencies as well as cause panic among the citizens. In a statement released on Thursday by the spokesperson for the service, Peter Afunaya, the DSS urged citizens to adhere to the laid down protocols for the event across the country, advising Nigerians to shun fake news that could cause violence in the country, while also urging unaccredited persons to stay away from the inauguration venues. Thousands of university students have asked London High Court on Wednesday to give the go ahead to the mass lawsuit against University College London UCL over disruption of the studies caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and strikes. More than 3,000 current and former students who paid at least £9,250 a year are suing University College London for breach of contract in a case which could be followed by similar litigations against other British universities. The university says it did not breach its contract with students and argued it was permitted to change or cancel any part of the courses due to the circumstances beyond this control, such as the pandemic. Lawyers running the case against the university says about 100,000 students from 18 universities have signed up to bring legal actions. Following the revocation of licenses of 179 microfinance banks and four primary mortgage banks by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, has assured depositors of the closed bank speedy payment of their insured sums. In a statement signed by the Director of Communication and Public Affairs Department, NDIC, Bashiru al azan says the NDIC would begin the process of payment of the insured sums immediately with the revocation of eligible depositors at the respective premises of the closed banks. He enjoyed such depositors to get the required document for the exercise, such as proof of account ownership, verification means of identification, and alternative bank accounts to facilitate their seamless verification and payment of their insured deposits. Bolivian leaders issued condemnations on Wednesday after rival lawmakers came to blows on the floor of parliament during a debate over fate of a jailed governor described as a political prisoner by the opposition. The lawmakers all women threw punches and kicks after pro-government MPs sought to snatch placards held up by the opposition members, but some of the lawmakers sought to defend their actions, blaming one another for starting the fight. At least one announced she would pursue legal actions. And in sports, Manchester City coach Pep Guardiola has applauded Britain for securing Europa League qualifications following the 1 1 draw with the citizens on Wednesday, May 24th, at the Farmer Stadium. For the first time since February, City dropped league's point at a stunning goal by Brighton's Peruvian teenager Julio Enfiso who snapped the 12-game winning run in the league. City has won more league games left before and FA Cup final against Manchester United and then a Champions League final against Inter Milan. And that's all on the newsroom at this time. Thank you for watching. I am Tamilora Akinkwole. Bye for now.